Okay, so let's continue with this idea of how pressure changes um, as you, say, change the depth of the fluid, of the liquid or the gas. And um, we just made that assumption previously. Remember when we were looking at this figure here? Let's find it. This figure, the assumption was just that there was no, uh, there was nothing pressing down on this liquid from the atmosphere. But actually, there is uh, something called atmospheric pressure that's being applied. And this atmospheric pressure is, at sea level, is 101,325 Newton per meter squared, or Pascal, Pascal, however you want to say it, okay, so this is what they're saying here, so atmospheric pressure, there is atmospheric pressure, and it's equal to this value, 1 times 10 to the 5, or, or they say average atmospheric pressure is 1 times 10 to the 5, the one that I gave you, 101, 101,325 is at sea level, <clears throat> okay, so the argument is we can't ignore this pressure that's being applied on the surface. And so if you change, the point here is if you change this pressure on the surface, it is going to affect the pressure right throughout the entire uh, fluid, right throughout the depth, okay? So they say uh, if we change the pressure in a container of liquid at any location, the change in pressure is the same. The change, okay? The, the change in pressure. Note the word change. No, we're not saying the pressure is the same. We're saying the change in pressure is the same throughout the liquid. And this is called Pascal's principle, which is a pressure change applied to an enclosed liquid is transmitted, undiminished, okay? To every part of the liquid and to the walls of the container in contact with the liquid. Okay, so notice the word change, um, enclosed, and it's a liquid. So they note the, the, the use of the word liquid here. Um, not, not gas, but liquid. And it's transmitted, undiminished. Undiminished. So that, that uh, change doesn't diminish uh, to any part. It doesn't get smaller. That, that change is the same throughout every part of the liquid and to the walls of the container. Okay, this is Pascal's principle. Okay, I'll finish off with this little quick paragraph. Um, so, so, the pressure, because the atmospheric pressure is equal to this amount, which is about 100,000 Newton per square meter, then the pressure near the surface of this water is very similar. It's very close. It is even the same as that. Okay, so the pressure at the surface is equal to that atmospheric pressure, and then it begins to then increase linearly based on gravity as you go down and down. Okay, so we'll look at an example now.